do the do the dodgy knife thing. I'm getting better. <laughs> Battery delivery, these are probably, I hope, batteries, cooling plates and Hyper 9 motor for said BMW um, that have arrived. So this is what it looks like. So we're going to have a look and see what's going on inside. Oh, goodness. Kit 9, I wonder if that's for me or if that's something separate. Now I'll be told, don't open a box that could have battery and we're standing there. Yep, here we are, come on, look. LG 4P3S 2.6 kilowatt hour module. This is gonna weigh a bit of a chunk. So, oh, one of them bad boys. That is pretty tidy. What's really incredible, so inside the BMW, I'm gonna try and hold it with one hand and look classy. Inside the BMW are 10 of these. So two blocks of four, one block of two. They're gonna be sat just inside the engine. No, not engine bay. I keep saying this the wrong way around. This wasn't the engine bay. The engine was in the back. Um, where the fuel tank used to be. So the fuel tank used to sit on the bottom down here. We're gonna build, um, we've got the fabricators working on 3D design for four on one side, four on the other side, two on the base creating kind of a U shape. And we're gonna put our Orion battery management system and contactors in that centerpiece, and then it will be one sealed box. Put some of our other components on the back. But what's really curious, so 10 of these is the same capacity, come with me, as all of these. So this is Indy, who also has a 26 kilowatt hour battery. She was built five or six years ago with uh, old fashioned calb cells, so the capacity range, energy capacity of all of those is the same as 10 of what I've just shown you, which is a bit crazy. So anyway, uh, net gain motors So that. So I think what we've got left, net gain is Hyper 9. So this will be some of the Hyper 9 kit. Yeah, looks like wiring loom for the Hyper 9. Uh, chill plates and everything, so fantastic. So yeah, controller obviously needs a chill plate, as an inverter as well. Um, that all looks, I've never actually used a Hyper 9, so I'm used to HBDS. Never actually used a Hyper 9, um, but they're very, very similar units. Um, so working out the wiring harness shouldn't be that tricky. Oh, that's heavy, that might be the inverter. Again, net gain, so it looks pretty tiny. This is the inverter, but you never know. It is tiny. Look at that. So when we first built Indy, and we would tell people all about how she worked and how things went together, this is effectively what you call the brain. So this is the bit that controls everything, pretty much. What tells things to be happening, what tells things to move in different places. You've got uh, B plus B negative for the DC side of the batteries, and then you've got UVW, which are the three AC connectors, into the... Uh, motor, which is probably in that box. I'll try and open that in a sec. Um, and then it's straight onto a chill plate, uh, which goes right through. Again, have we got a comparison for this? I think we do. Come and have a look this way. Now, these are not the same spec. But this is Indy's controller, um, which is the most powerful controller that Curtis make, um, primarily because Indy's quite a big beast. And then by comparison, you can see there, they're not on an equal surface, but about the same height, same chill plate design, um, but that's probably about half the size, which is quite cool. And ideally, we're going to try and mount that on top of the Hyper 9. We're going to find a way to mount it on top. But we'll find a, a tidy way to put it. So in here currently, there's nothing. We're working on getting, uh, we'll take the motor down to our fabricator so they can get some decent, accurate scans off that to create uh, the adapter plate and the coupler to go between the two. And then we've just got to choose where this one will go. It will, pro like I say, it will probably fit somewhere on top of the motor, nice and tidy and then we'll put a fake floor in to create some kind of boot space in the back here so there's still some storage. That's really small. <laughs> so, oh brilliant, they've put cooling hoses on them already. Very tidy, that saves me a job. Cheers, Zero. There we go, oh, it's cold. 
So cooling plates for the battery modules. These are, um, if you've seen any Zero stuff before, these are uniform in size and design for the LG modules, which we just showed you, but also for the new Cal modules in both um, series parallel ori orientation, which means for our battery box design, this is absolutely fantastic because we can use the same design over and over and over, which is one of the key things that holds up these conversions, having to go back and forth to fabricators. So we can have set battery box designs off the shelf, it makes things tons easier. So these have cooling, I don't know if you can almost see it actually in the right light, but they have a, a cooling run through them and then back out the other side. So we connect those in, in uh, series to each other. They will stand upright like so with two modules on one side and two modules on the other. And again, they will be connected through in the right ways. And then they, they themselves, the cooling plates themselves are structural. Um, so you would then bolt into the bottom of them through the base of the battery box and likewise onto the top. Um, we also somewhere in here, because we've got loads of these for both the BMW and the Golf. The Cal batteries for the Golf are delayed. So they aren't in this box, but they will be with us in a few weeks, but we also have a, a, a two and two plate somewhere in here as well. As I said, the box design for the BMW requires a two and two. So next, we'll have a gander at the motor. One for the album. So we Tell if that's one of these big solid pieces that goes down the side. Yeah. Ta-da! Shiny. That is heavy. So by comparison, it's not the same power. That's about, actually I don't know what the power of that is. It's, it's about 100 volts. Mm -hmm. And then Indies. Here we are. AC51. There we are, Christmas complete. So there we have it. It's Christmas at EDUB HQ. Um, make sure uh, if you're interested in what we're doing, you want to follow along on the evolution of this particular BMW, or even the Golf, or even the Camper. If you want to follow along any of this, make sure you subscribe uh, to our channel, like this video, that would be amazing. Uh, leave us a comment, leave us your thoughts. Um, but yeah, we're going to get on with organising all of this now uh, and start planning uh, through uh, how we start to put it all together, the slow, long process of doing that properly. Um, yeah, and I hope to see you again next time.